Uh, so for, I, I thought, you know what, let me take a look at Google Sheets and do a linear fit there as well. Because um, I figured this probably isn't that hard to do. I might as well just uh, do a video for that too. So here we have the same data that I showed in the demonstration using Excel. Now do the same thing in Google Sheets. It's the same idea, but a little different. So here's the, the data I want to use. If I click on, where'd it go? This thing right here, this symbol right here, insert chart. Actually, let me first highlight. Actually, no, let's just go insert chart. If I click insert chart, there we go. So here's my blank chart, doesn't know what I want to do. Chart type, I want scatter. So if I go to scatter, now I have a scatter. Now I have to choose the data I want to use. So if I click in X axis, see how it gives me this thing? I can just skip that and just highlight here. So I want this to be X, and I say, okay. Then for the series, this is the Y data. And I click on this, click on this little window looking thing here, click on that. Now I get this window again, click on this. Okay, now we've got data. So uh, cool, here's our data, but we're still missing our, our trend line, right? We want to do a linear function, a uh, linear fit to this. So if I go to customize, let's see here, series, mm, trend line, click on trend line. Now I have a trend line. Cool. All right. Well, what's the function for this trend line? I can get that if I go to, let's see here, legend. Let's see, where is it? I just did this. Oh, here we go. Down a little further. Label. See how it says label? So I clicked on trend line. Now label. It says none. Click on that. Use equation. Yay. Now I have a, a, a label here. So, uh, okay. So this is our linear function. 2x plus 1. So 2 is the slope, 1 is the intercept. So there is the information for uh, plotting. So now you know how to do that in Google Sheets as well. Um, now let's do some of the other stuff we tested earlier. So taking a log, if I go equal log, look at this, it has log 10. I love this. The good people at Google said, let's get rid of all the ambiguity of which log do you mean, right? Because it's very Amerocentric to, to assume that LOG is, is base 10. So if I go here, let's test it out with taking 100 here. Log base 10 of 100 is 2. Wonderful. Cool. So if I want to take a whole bunch of log base 10, log 10, go 1, enter. So now it's log of 1 is 0, of course. Drag that down. I take a bunch of logs. And I also talked about like if you wanted to convert the units of everything in a column or something, so let's say the conversion was to multiply everything by 10. If I go equal sign, this thing, and then it's asterisk times 10, then enter. Now I got this 10 here, and now if I drag that, now it's multiplying everything by 10. So that should cover you for either um, Excel or Google Sheets now. Um, so if you choose to do the assignment in Google Sheets, uh, oh, you know what, let's do this now too. Let's go file, download, Microsoft Excel, there it is. So now it's saved it as Microsoft Excel. So when it's time to turn your assignment in, that's the file you'll give me. Um, so this should be pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, so now you're, you're only limited by uh, um, chemical kinetics, right? You'll, you know how to do all the, the computer skills you need for this particular exam. So it's gonna come down to the kinetics. All right, good luck, everybody.